I did want to address if this whole this whole thing with like um you know like like Kakarot potentially being unleashed right because of this uh this new link from him hearing Bardock's voice and remembering do you think that's gonna give him any character development because we know that he's got little to none <laughs> okay this is a beautiful question a great question okay and i know the best way to answer this this is and it's gonna be funny right but this is gonna almost this could i should say like that this could be another moment for goku and this is funny because he's a full grown he's a full-blown adult he's a he's literally a grandpa at this point right you guys forget that shit pan exists at this point in the story this motherfucker is a grandpa <laughs> okay but it's almost as if like he's going to have like another growing up moment in a sense right because i feel like for what it for what it is goku has had his some maturing moments some i say some i say it lightly because we everyone knows goku to be a freaking dumbass okay like, let's, let's not, not lie, right. lie about that right but the reality is is that he has been a good father right despite all the memes and despite all of the 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 shit that you know team force are really implanted into people's heads and and the and the fact of the matter is is like he was always there for his son he was always there for Gohan. Always looked out. Right? Even when, you know, it wasn't super practical for him to, you know, like, why would you make your 11-year-old kid defeat Cell? Even though, I mean, it, but, you know, it's like, oh, well, he really believed in him. Like, he just knew. Like, you know, Goku just knew. He's like, oh, dude, my son's strong as fuck. Like, he could, he could handle him, right? The thing is, that was like a mental disconnect. That was Goku being Goku, right? Because Piccolo had to remind him. He's like, he's like, Gohan is not like you, Goku. Like, he's all about peace. He's not trying to fight. You know, Piccolo was basically spitting the shit that we've been trying. I've been trying to spit for all these Gohan folks that are just on the same fucking thought, right? So, I say all this, right? Because I wonder if we are going to have that curiosity out of Goku where he realizes that wow like i spent a whole lifetime pretty much not even remembering my parent my own parents right i only thought i had a grandpa who technically wasn't even really my grandpa right and now that he realizes like wow like maybe this is like this this will be like a, a moment for goku to really have uh, a direct connection with his race his his Saiyan race because when he realizes like wow like my dad looked out for me and my brother and wished for us to pretty much like survive as long as we did just to keep make sure we were safe like like wow fuck you Frieza you destroyed <laughs> You destroyed all my people, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, what if they like wish back the planet, bro? Well, I mean, yeah, like later, later down the line, if if like Goku has this moment of reconnection and he's like, he really thinks about that shit, and then like one, they just call up Shineron type shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't fuck it up. I feel That's like kind of a stretch though. I well, when when it comes when it comes down to like if like the idea of like okay like would they ever wish just wish the whole planet back right i think that would take the super dragon balls i don't think shenron would be able to like yeah i don't know like for some reason i just get the impression that shenron would be like i cannot do this i don't <laughs> yeah. like super dragon balls is a safer bet because you know they they could do anything, they could do anything right but yeah 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 but yeah i i think i think that would be interesting right because goku has been a very happy-go-lucky not really caring about nothing else besides trying to fight people to get stronger fight other stronger people to of course get continue to get stronger but he's never had any kind of connection 
outside of his own family and friends like those are the people that he looks out for that's what that's that's his family that's what he cares about right because if you cross them you're fucked that's just how it goes it, it applies you 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 touch chi chi you're dead you touch gohan you're dead okay you touch any of his close friends he grew up with you're fucking dead okay mm. krillin died for this super saiyan shit to happen okay that's just how it goes all right so then so now it's like now that he's aware of like holy shit like he had a whole dad he had a whole mom all he has to do is just remember like he does remember obviously now but it like he just has to have that moment where it's just like i want to know more about them like i want to i want them to i want them to live out their lives because theirs gotten taken away for no reason like if goku has that grow, like that's a huge growing moment if he literally is just like wow like I know that I've already kind of forgiven Frieza, low key, but you know it's never too late to, I guess, re reverse something. You know what I'm saying? Like that was a whole planet just destroyed for no fucking reason. You know what I'm saying? Like no reason that we know yet. I th that's what I think. I think I think that it would be really interesting that maybe at first. We could we could re, we we could even go as far as revisiting the shit that we was talking about last week, where you know he wants to talk to Bardock first. You know what I'm saying? Like you know he tells King Yemen like, "Is my dad alive or whatever, or is he dead or like where is he? Is he in hell or heaven, whatever?" And he like wants to talk to him. That that's that's one side of it. Or if he just straight up just wants to wish his dad back. <laughs> And then people even go as far as stretching that and saying like, I want to give my brother a second chance. You know, like, yo, even even if even if the leak is fake, which I'm I'm gonna tell y'all right now, and I'm talking to the fucking chat, like the comments. There's some of y'all that really fucking think that that Raddus leak is real, and it's not. Stop. Get some help, please. <laughs> okay, like that shit is like. We said it. We had geeked him on here. He said it. He literally poked fun at y'all. And y'all still think that shit's real. Please. It's not. Like, if all of this stuff that, like, let's say, like, again, for the argument, for argument's sake, Raditz gets brought into the conversation as a possibility, a yes, because of what's happening in the story, sure, Goku now has an interest in his own late family okay then that's a that's we could talk about that but it has nothing to do with this fake ass fucking leak please oh that's that good shit